three, two, one. Let there be light, and let there be a new tournament. This is a brand new tournament from a brand new organizer. Two French guys, Canamix and Umairin Bra, have decided to throw their hat in the ring and just have their first ever tournament. They're they're amateurs. They're trying their first time. Um, the brackets are a bit crazy looking, I'm going to say. But a tournament's a tournament. And we're big fans of co-competitive. So in whatever variety it comes in, we just love to see it. And see it we will because we're going to see one of the most famous Coming to Heroes 1 players of all time. Symbiosis is an old legend. Like the ancient sacred tomes speak of Symbiosis and his legendary play. So we're going to see his United States, his most famous faction, by the way. And guess what? He's versus the tournament organizer, Yamaya Bra, his Wehrmacht. That's right. So the tournament organizer put himself up against this no-name. He didn't even know who Symbiosis was, probably. No offense to Yamaya Bra, but he probably didn't. Because I know UMB is a Co2 player. I don't think he played Co1. So us Co1 guys are like, huh? You're versus Symbiosis. Wow. Wow. Anyway, Yamaya Bra has gone for Luftwaffe. Symbiosis just rocking around. And I will just give you a little bit of a 101 on Symbiosis' gameplay style. He does have decent micro. He can be aggressive, but he doesn't like to be. He likes to be manpower... Um, preserve all the manpower he can. Manpower efficient. He invented being uber manpower efficient. That is the school of thought where you don't care about squad preservation. You care about individual model preservation. And a double jeep... Armor Battle Group start is perfect for that playstyle. So basically, and I'm not making this up by the way, all the Co-1 guys will tell you who invented uber manpower preservation, patient gameplay style, Symbiosis. He is the forefather of the Co-2 tournament style. I cannot make this up. He basically invented this shit. He wrote the book on it. But this is a long time ago, 2010-11, I appreciate is a long time ago. He's now rusty, he's old, just like me. So let's see if he can still do it, basically. Uh, Northwest Fresh says, How do you preserve individual models? By being an absolute defensive biatch. You just stay in cover. You run away from engagements. You do a lot of soft retreating. You do not push when you don't need to push. Somebody asked in chat. Uh, Northwest Fresh is, of course, a Co-1 fan just like me. Uh, but back in the day, from watching the Frontline Network and all the SNF tournaments... We were taught how Symbiosis plays, and it was a slightly different way of playing. Very patient. And then, the crazy thing is then, when he gets artillery, when he gets significant uh, critical mass, he then pushes all in. He goes insane. So I loved Symbiosis. He's my favorite Co-1 player. Then Aimstrong, then Devam, and then probably Siberian Platoon. Something like that order. Um, because he just had this crazy preserve, 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 Zerg Rush style. Yeah, Northwest Fresh agrees. Sorry, I haven't got... Uh, for you guys who are watching us YouTube, I've got some really interesting guys. Ferragy, um, Azilagath, D Orange Pest, Demare. Um, they're all watching live on uh, my Twitch chat, but I Streamlabs is down, so I can't show you my chat. I'll just be replying to people you can't see. Well, I bet if we show the cast to UI, you'll see the kill. To There's no kill so far. There's one kill. <laughs> there you go. This is how he plays. Right, Ket and Crad Jeeps pushing around. I hope I've shown enough of the map and the game so far without talking about the tactics. Hope you guys have like, kind of cast for it yourself. I've just been talking about symbiosis. Sorry about that. But anyway, what is Yamar and Bra doing? Grenadiers retreating. We've got a retreat over here. Double retreats into, of course, Luftwaffe Company. He's got to be like, what am I up against here? I just m gave myself an early first round. By the way, this tour tournament doesn't appear to have been seeded. Uh, I, I think this is their first attempt, him and Canamix, and they just wanted to have a go. Um, interesting approach, of course. But uh, it has meant that some of the first rounds and second rounds have been hilarious. Like, Orange Pest has like... I don't know what he's bribed Canamix and UMB, but his path to the final is, is like playing AE five times in a row. It's genuinely like AE, then easy AI, and then it gets even easier from there. It's and then it's Orange Pest Mum. It's the third round combat. <laughs> I don't know how he like fixed the tournament so badly. 
for himself, Orange Pest. Using some of that Master League $2,000 money, that's probably what it's been. Needs to be checked, his bank statements. Meanwhile, by the way, look at this. We've got a double cutoff coming in from Symbiosis. He's got both cutoffs right now, and he's also pushing the Northern Munitions points there. So this is ultra aggressive by Simbi. That's how the cool kids say symbiosis, by the way. If you're one of his friends, you can say Simbi, but you guys can't because I know symbiosis and I used to talk to him. People in chat asking about the caster UI. I don't use caster UI. I flip between the players. I have it hotkeyed to my mouse. I just prefer it. I like to see as much of the screen as possible because the game's beautiful. And I don't think I miss much, to be honest. If you guys want to know anything, just tell me. I'll tell you. It's fine. Oh, Zilligath in chat says the M8 is going to hurt. I mean, you have to agree. But there it is. There's the motor pool. And he's, he's doing the Alpern style. He's just auto-building everything. Why not? When in Rome. Just waiting for that fuel to come in. Now he's at 29. What does Yamira and Brawl have to play against with this? He's got nearly the munitions required. He needs to get... Well, he's got... Sorry, he needs to be in territory. He's got the 90. My bad. Is that an... He's getting Falsham Jaegers next. Surely Simbi's uh, M8 will hit the field. Tumberball asks, are Co3 US similar to Co1 US? Yes, but there's a brand new mechanic. Um, I'll show you on screen here. Um, they have uh, basically Panzer Elite Veterancy, but they're both abilities. You can choose an offensive ability or a defensive uh, ability. Similar to that. It's not always offensive and defensive, but it's like a passive or an active more, almost. We've got a ballsy Falschermjäger drop all the way on the fuel point. I'm using a Zilligath as my co-caster. And we've got a low health rifle here. Has he bothered building healing? No, he hasn't. Meaning this M8 has hit relatively early. Not quite as early as it could have been. He's got 19 fuel in the bag, but he's got the armoured skirts and the 50 cal. Upgrading. Faust on the jeep. First death coming in. Oh, dear. Can he get away? Absolutely not. Here they go. They're going to jump randomly when they hit this rock. No momentum, no jump. Just, just death. There is a Faust. Sorry, that's not a Faust. That could be a Shrek upgrading, though. Yep, he's just started. Then he cancelled. And then he's running away. I don't think he cancelled. I just think he's retreated so I can't see anymore. M8's going to absolutely roll him. Symbiosis. By the way, don't forget that Symbiosis is part of the All-Stars clan. So he's got a fraternity of fellow Co-1 players to draw um, inspiration from. He will be asking questions like, what is the meta for Co-3? I haven't really played it. Tell me exactly what I need to do. And he'll have a... Li oh, both Jeeps down now, by the way. Um... FG42 is doing their work and all rifles forced away. It's a mine there. That'll be fine, though. It's his own mine, of course, and no grenade forthcoming. But, yeah, he'll be asking his um, friends what to do. So his meta strat's been great. His micro has been suspect, however. Um, so Zilligath in chat saying that uh, UMB's micro's coming in. You'd have to agree. It seems that Simbi's rustiness is also coming in. But this could be... Possibly dangerous for the Falsham Jaegers. Pretty expensive to reinforce. And then 35 maybe. Oh, that's a big shot on the MG. There's the Panzer. Oh, there's the Shrek. That was a Co-1 Shrek from Panzer Elite. That was terrible accuracy. Double M8. Are they going to go in? Are they going to go in? No, he's going to be a bit more conservative than that. He has pushed the fuel there. He's pushing the fuel here. He's using the pressure from the M8s to really exert himself on the game. Low health rifles dropping like flies. Do you know all that spiel I said about manpower preservation? Well, you can throw that out the window right now. Ignore AE. Tubervore in my chat says losing the jeeps and... Oh, Whilst the M8's on this field, isn't that much of a problem? You'd have to agree, as long as he can keep the scouts alive. Um, scouts and captain and another rifleman, yes, he should be fine. But you lose the jeeps and the scouts, you're in for a bad time. Commander, 
Oh, he's going in possibly. He's going to suffer a Faust for it. That's not worth... Oh, the, they does not want to suffer that manpower damage. It's actually UMB that's doing that. And here comes the Verbal Vind. Oh, captain's in peril here. Captain Artillery coming down. Verbal Vind. Shrek, can the Greyhound survive? Most likely. They've got the speed advantage, but not if they drive like that. Surely it's got to be a Shafi next. No, he's gone for the M1. Is he going to... Hmm, interesting option there. Most people would go for the Shafi, but he doesn't quite have the fuel. He's only got 38. Meanwhile, UMB still has 20 after getting his first Verbal Vind. So we're just having a classic meta battle here in this first round tournament. Tawny Escapade. Kauzak in chat saying you and B playing in his own tourney. Yes, and giving himself a player that is probably my age <laughs> and uh, is a Co 1 legend that never played Co 2. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious to see if you and B knew who Symbiosis was. Symbiosis, by the way, one of the top 20 all-time tournament-rated players, having won many 2v2 tournaments back in the day. What is the all-time? Let me just get the Master League rankings up. Hang on. Back in the south, we've got Greyhound just chilling. Trying to get some shots in there. That's right, Kauzak. Symbiosis is the god of clicking Allied War Machine. And 180 can pushing up. We've got an MG that's been rather idle there. Just waiting. Kettenkrad's gone cloak mode to escape, it would seem. Rifles versus Falsham Jaegers. They are also, there you go, unveiled now. Getting that bonus for a moment, but they were on the move, so they didn't really make the most of it. And a cutoff attempt elicited again. Wondering what Symbiosis is saving for next. Maybe he wants to scale with Tank Depot, perhaps. Doesn't want to just go all in on that motor pool playstyle. He's teching bars, right? Okay, not a bad option. Orange Best would approve of that. He says you pretty much always want bars. Symbiosis, of course, from the Netherlands. He's actually the top... He's, I'll, I'll paste this for chat. I've been working on my tourney rankings. He's the number 10 rated 1v1 tournament player of all time. Bloody hell. I don't even think he ever won a World Championships. He just won a couple of majors. Um, but then placed really highly in a lot of tournaments. He's got to shake off the rust, though, and he can't afford to be double-strecked. And then Verbal Vindy, that was excellent positioning there from Yamaira and Braun. We have our first casualty, and it's this M8. Other than the Jeeps. I don't count the Jeeps. The first M8 casualty. Whatever, man. Terrible casting. It's fine. Don't worry. Should I get my mitigations in? I'm old. I've been at work all day. I did overtime today. And it's a Monday evening. Before you guys savage me in the YouTube comments. A lot of snarky people recently saying things like, you missed every tank death and stuff like this. I'm not sure they're true, but it hurts all the same. Wow, that was a risky cap. It's like he's got it. Can he get away? Has he got the cognizance to survive? No, oh, it's going to be close. You can see the bullets hit the sand behind him. Oh, we've got a strafe here. Oh, two Falsham Jaegers hit the... Bite the dust there. Mine. Detonating. Keeping the M1 alive, quite frankly. Can he get within the reinforcement range? Let's check it out here. Oh, no, he couldn't. Meanwhile, Yamiron Braun may be able to Shrek it to death. Fortunately, that Co-3 reinforcement. Only need two. Verbal Vin's coming in now. Yumarin Bra smells blood. He's going in for it. Oh, and he couldn't reinforce the M1 AT gun. Oh, that's devastating. We've got 71 fuel, however, and we've got bars on the retreat. Surely he can pick something up here. He wants that Falsham Jaeger. Can he get it? 
can he get it? Is he focus firing him? He's behind heavy cover, so he won't get suppressed. And he couldn't get the kill, but he did save the day with the the bars there. But the M1 AT gun was destroyed. Okay. Victory point wise, I think we're looking... What are we looking like? I don't know if they're flipped. I'll have to check that out at a later point when we've got two victory points capped. But it's all to play for this game. Very competitive so far, it has to be said. It's Kalzak says, missing every tank death sounds pretty major, to be fair. Uh, that didn't happen. I don't know what this YouTube user was smoking. Sometimes I miss Pioneer Stein, but we're not tanks. I've probably missed more Pioneers dying than uh, than any other caster alive. I just don't care about Pioneers. Sector lost. No contact. Right, bars pushing south. We've also got a cap from this rifle here. Falsham Jaegers between them. Rock in a hard play situation. M8 operating behind the Casbar. That's good positioning by Symbiosis. Very Semwar like. Semwar, of course, was a map in Co. 1 where you could utilize M8s very well operating behind. What was that accuracy? Did you see that? He was there and it hit there. Amazing stuff. More mines being planted. It really does think that UMB is going to just mainline it. And I have to say, Simbi's exerting better capping at this point in time. But I've really got to check out Ymir and Bra's fuel. Ah, he's going Panzer Company. There we go. And he's going to be at 13 fuel. He's only got a plus 10. Uh, well, plus 13 income. You get 3 from base and 10 from your territory points. Meanwhile, Symbiosis has 24 in the bag. He's still got one of his two original M8s. And, of course, that Shafi. Right, chat, I want to know who you think's going to win. I'm going to show the uh, chat on screen for the YouTube audience very shortly. So, who do you think's going to win this right now? Right now, who's going to win? Is it going to be your Myron Bra or Symbiosis? Genuinely, all bets are on the table. It's, it's just this one game. This one game. Who do you think's going to win? Come on, guys, tell the YouTube. Or Orange Best says Simbi. He's played in a Co-1 tournament, so he's allowed to say Simbi. Oh, Red Wings, that's beautiful. Northwest Fresh is a Co-1 fan, so he's rooting for Symbiosis. Come on. Simbi, of course, USSA says. Okay, fair enough. Any other predictions? One last prediction, please. And then we can go back to the game. UMB, Deme all Co-1 fans, basically. Co-1 fans own Co-3 at this point, it seems. All the Co-2 guys have either retired or just lurk, it seems. I'm just glad because it's like an old boys club, isn't it? Like we've got smoking jackets and playing snooker together. Ah, thank you, I am. Yes, good point, I am in cinematic mode. There we go. Thank you, uh, Kowzak, for pointing that out. We got to see me in my pyjamas for a moment. My Black Sabbath pyjamas. Yes, I have Black Sabbath pyjamas. I'm that kind of guy. Chaffee and M8 just recoiling in terror from the sight of the the Shreks for now. Yamirenbra, where is he up to? He's gone for infantry reserves. Why not? But then he'll be looking at Stuka Loitus within three command points, so Yamir, uh, Asimbi will need to be careful. Oh, we've got a poll. Thank you, any um, moderators that ever moderate on my channel. Doesn't happen very often. Jaegers hunting. Excuse the pun. He's got the multiple units backing up. Is he going to go all the way for Sherman? Seems that way. He's going to go for another AT gun in the meantime. Oh, he's going to go for double AT guns. Co-2 styly. Why not? People in Co-1 also went two AT guns, by the way. But I don't know. Ooh, the poll is at 50-50 right now. Five apiece. Only ten people have voted. I've probably got like 100 viewers or so, but that's just how it works. Ooh, we got the 
phosphorus fire used yet again on these rifles. Grenades are being teched as well for Simbi. I'm liking this build overall. Oh, there's a double 18 aid. Keeping that verbal vin from action for a while. Surely UMB knows about the nades now. He knows about the nades now. Surely nuclear pineapple. Amazing stuff. Jaeger wiped. How did UMB not know that was coming? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somebody clip that for the relic clip competition, please. Probably not the best clip ever. I tried to uh, pull my, mi my mouth away from the microphone to uh, when I was screaming. Just a uh, veteran caster news. Not sure it works though. That's the problem. And this is very dead. UMB is in trouble, guys. Bloody hell. Symbiosis playing the patient game. And uh, wow. <laughs> is that vote still open? Still at seven apiece. Well, it's still even, rather. Greyhound on retreat, though. Perfectly timed there by Simbi. Ooh, nice use of green cover there by the rifles getting there. Not getting suppressed. Meanwhile, we've got Falsham Jaegers trading grenades. That's a big grenade. They both got the retreat bonus. They're both fine. No one clipped my, uh, the nuclear pineapple. Damn you. Damn you all to hell. No one clips anything on Twitch anymore. I don't know if you've noticed. One of the most sorely underutilized features of all time. Because it makes making montages really easy. Ooh, nice shot by the ground. Easy. Easy work. Very even game. Look at that. 50-50 votes. Alright then. We got a 50-50 game. We got a lull in activity. We now have the Panzer IV finally out. Getting his pintle mount. Meanwhile, uh, Simbi, does he have tier 4? Not yet, but he does have two AT guns. Well poised in the center. Surely got to find a good firing angle now on these mediums. Meanwhile, the rifles, they haven't got enough veteracy for my liking, but uh, pouring in all the same. The versus Stoss Troopen and Falsham Jaegers now, so I'm not liking that matchup, especially with the Verbal Vin Pleasant. More mines planted. Were going to be planted there, never got completed. Meanwhile, Panzer IV versus rifles here. Can Simbi see it? This is a test. This is a test, and he sees it, yep. Just testing his micro, I'm testing his presence of mind. And uh, uh, not bad there, not bad. Could have been a bit better. There we go. We've got a trap set for the Panzer IV. Jaegers. Also forced off. A lot of attritional damage there. Let's check the, uh, the kills. We're at 50 kills for Symbiosis, 73 for Yumaira and Brawl with three vehicle destroys. That's including two Jeeps. And let's never see this UI ever again. Because it takes up too much of the screen. Uh, why not Stormtrooper Shadow? Because Stormtroopers was also the name of the Sturmabteilung, which was the Nazi... Uh, bullies of the early 1930s. Genuine. That is the reason they don't use Stormtrooper. But I don't agree with that because Stormtrooper is also used in Star Wars and the First World War. So I don't agree, but that's the reason if you must ask. And Co-1. Co and Co-2. But not Co-3. We'll check just now to see what teching we've got. Just... Munitions surplus, nothing further. Panzer four chilling in the center. I'm going to do a victory point check soon as well. As soon as this one is capped, we will be able to see. M8 pushes in. Good moment to push in. Will the Panzer four react? Yes, it will. So she's going to stay there for now. Where are the AT guns at in this? 
They're chilling in the center. They should reactively move to counter the Panzer IV. At the highest level co, what you tend to see is everything reacts in sequence. So uh, the, the, the M1s would already be moving, knowing the M8 was easy work for the Panzer IV. You know what I mean? So you, you tend to see that. So if you're watching like Isilda Nagano 2022 uh, in that big Master League tournament, you would have seen every single thing makes logical uh, sequential sense and it all happens really quickly. But with players not quite at the highest, highest level, you don't tend to see those reactions quite as quick. That's all it is. But everything still makes sense. Oh, Orange Pest picked up that he had infantry logistics as well, meaning reinforcement cost is cheaper. Thanks for picking up on that, Orange Pest. Um, by the way, big news. If Orange Pest wins the next big tournament, he's making a guide. That's big motivation to not let him win. Because you do not want him patronizing you and teaching you how to be as good as him. But it will be useful for a lot of people. Another Panzer IV. Ymarion Bra going full co 2. He just wants to churn out those Panzer IVs and try and get some pressure because it has to be said, Simbi is up on victory points now and he's exerted more pressure. We've got Stoss Troop and pushing in for the M1 T guns. Can they get behind Luke Skywalker's parents? Uh, step parents house he's trying he's got one there oh he needs to come in in a big way he's got the chaffee coming in as well but here comes you Marion bros forces oh dear this could be game he's also got ju87 this is perfect for the frenchman the dutchman however does kill one of the tanks oh and there's the ju he's suppressing everything it's nasty it's brutal can the greyhound survive vet 3 says he can panzer 4 gets a shot in where are the Jaegers at? They're not there. Greyhound's going to survive. Meanwhile, Stoss Troopin having some fun. Both AT guns are decrewed. Here comes the pin yet again. This is bad. This is tragic. Greyhound, though, on the MG. Simbi with a great move. Panzer Fall comes to finish off the ground. Simbi needs to get away yet again. Can he evade? Oh, so little health. Staying in the game gets a stun off on the Panzer Fall. What a, what a match this has now become. This is a one for the one for the classics. This is awesome. It is nil-nil, by the way, if you're just tuning in a best of three. Nil-nil. First round action. Tawny organizer. And a complete underdog. Only Co One stands knew who this guy was. And there it is. Sherman Easy 8's been called in by Symbiosis. He's getting his AT gun back. Did he lose an AT gun? Yes, he lost one AT gun to Myron Bra though. So he's traded an AT gun. But that was crucial, crucial for Simbi because he's now staying in the game. He's staying in the game. He's taken the best punches Yamiran Brawl has to offer. He's taken them on the chin and he's still fighting. And that means bad news for Yamiran Brawl. Now the easy eight's out. Oh dear, oh dear. Because he's down on victory points, don't forget. Yep, Aiko planes if you're laughing at the plane. Emoji. Greyhound. Oh my god. The balls of Simbi. He needs a wheelbarrow. Biggest wheelbarrow in the Netherlands, it seems. That Greyhound just playing with fire. Rifles need to survive, though. Everything's playing with fire. Oh, that's dangerous. He stayed in against the Panzer Fool. Get out of there, you madman. Then the flag tank to shot. Meanwhile, we've got Captain Artillery. Oh, you're miring, bro. <laughs> this is bad. You're miring, bro's played far more company of heroes than Symbiosis has in the last several years. He's been a, a you know, a strong Co2 player. Never a world beater, but a strong player. Rifles need to survive this onslaught. They really do. They've got four men. There's the easy eight. Vet 3 rifles survive. That was crucial. Doesn't want to overextend with Vet 3 rifles. Doesn't want to lose them. And we've now got a triple cap. 1vp per second will tick down. And this proves it, by the way, that the victory points were flipped. So, sorry. Forget everything I've said about victory points up to this point. Relic's UI needs to be fixed. It was Symbiosis that was down on victory points. And he's now ahead. And he's now surging ahead. He's also, by the way, got more than enough fuel for another easy eight. And he's got 350 manpower. He's reinforcing everything he's got. 
Maybe he's going to get another easy H soon. Oh, is that a squad wipe? It was a squad wipe. Yes, it was. I think that was a Jaeger that just died on the point there. Ooh, Greyhound's overextended. This won't be. This won't survive this time. There's too much. There's too much. Surely it won't survive. Double Shrek. It wasn't the Jaeger. But Stuka loiters off, loit off to cool down soon. So Simbi has to be careful. This easy gate's super low. Do not re repair there, you madman. You mad Dutch fellow. Oh, God. Verbal Vin versus Rifle in the north. I don't know what squad was that. Did we realise what squad that was for me yet? I'll zoom in on their models. They look like Germans. Ooh, M1's going the facing the wrong way. Easy eight to save. <gasps> Can't hit the shot. Oh dear. There's the phosphorus fire. Does the captain have his loiter? Have his artillery? No, he doesn't. Oh, mine detonates there on the verbal vind. Easy, it's roaring back into action. But that loiter, that loiter soon. Five muni away from the loiter. If he overextends with easy, this could be the end. Yeah, it did get a really nice victory point uh, lead. Oh, he's overextended. That's brutal. There's the stolen M1 AT gun as well. Here it comes. He's going to click the button. Needs to escape. Another Panzer IV on its way. Damaged engine Verbal Vin somehow escaped. We've got the MG under fire. We've got a... Oh, this is crucial. Vet 3 rifle goes south. Panzer IV hits the field. Where's his manpower? Oh, he's got the manpower. He's clicking it. You can hear that noise. He's clicking it. There it is. On the 20th attempt, he's got another easy eight. He used calling. Calling was super effective, as always. Can he complete the cap with the Vet 3 rifles? It's pretty important. Pretty important stuff. He's well, he's going to complete it, but the rifles are going to be in a lot of pain by the time they finish. Oh, nice movement before the shot hit. Completes the cap, retreats. The tick continues. Tick tock, tick tock. You do not want to be humiliated in round one of your own tawny. Can't let that happen, UMB. We won't be miring then, will we? No, we won't. Second concurrent Panzer IV hits third. Built this game. He gets a squad down south. So we're having a battle in the centre. And don't forget the Stuka Loiter could turn things in UMB's favour at the exact wrong moment. Got a mine there. He needs to use that to his advantage. Stoss Troopen. Panzer IV. Oh my, the battle's emerging. And if you're wondering why I don't use all that overlay stuff, that's because I can fit all of this on one screen right now and be super lazy. Look at this battle line that's been drawn. You've got the Verbal Vin, the Panzer Fours, the Stolen M1, the Elite Infantry. Oh my. Meanwhile, the Americans have the two Easy Eights, the M1 itself, three engineers and rifles cascading into the center past the MG's cone of fire. Right, here we go. The Panzer Fours are pushing in. They know they've got Goering's finest ready to go. And grenade on the MG, turning it into mincemeat. Here come the Panzer Fours. Rifles are going to get churned up from the flank if they're not careful. M1 firing. Jaeger's pushing in. It's all going off right now. But here come the JUs. Everything needs to escape. They're in the targeting circle at the moment. And he's just going to have to recoil. He's going to have to get back to base. M1s continue to fire. Panzer IV nearly went down. And he escapes with everything. He's also going to get reinforcement now. There you go on his M1 AT gun. That was the big threat. That was the big threat, to be honest. And uh, he's evaded it. He's evaded the big threat. So that's how much munitions. He's going to have another one when he comes off cooldown. Mine detonates, by the way, with the Stukas. He's going to have another one soon, but don't worry too much. We're going to get more Falchion Pioneers to get this repaired. Because he did lose his Pioneers. They were Pioneers that died there, by the way. Just figured it out. I'm a genius. But it's a bad thing for him. That is Vet 2. He realises he can just go north and deal with his Falschemjäger. That's smart. Doesn't want to get a triple cap against him now, does he? 
you're just tuning in on Twitch, this is a best of three. It's the first game. It's Symbiosis and Old Co. 1 Legends of the Highest Order versus Yamira and Brawl, a Co. 2 um, beast from France. Ooh, Easy 8's low. Ah, he escapes with it, it seems. Faust is coming in, though. Needs to be careful about that. Rifles pushing in there. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's a lot of high explosive fire. Why did he cap that in the heat of battle? That's super dangerous. That wasn't very good manpower. Draw, oh, he lost a Vet 3 rifle. That could be game. What is he doing? He's throwing. He's throwing too much. He's gotten rusty. He's gotten tired. And he threw too much in. How the hell did you make basic? They just shouted. Well, that's what I'm thinking now. What the fuck indeed. That's what somebody said in chat. And I have to agree. He threw too much in there too quickly. Replacing Vet 3 rifles with... Vet 1 Engineers is not a good idea. Oh, nice kill, though, on the Jaegers. All of a sudden, these Yates say hello. He's up against this M1. He's going to decrew that. Engineers are going to bite the brunt of the fire, it seems. Another shot to decrew. Misses. Oh, no. Doesn't want that to happen. Nice shot from this M1. Could push in now. Could push in now, to be honest. He'd be wise to. That should have been the moment he pushed in, in my opinion. Just built another AT gun. WTF, he has so much fuel. Should be saving for another easy eight, in my opinion. That's just me, though. Victory point wise. Yep, he's the red one, isn't he? He's ticking down now. He's below UMB's count. We've got 81 to 60. The battle order is two Panzer IVs. Um, Infantry-wise, we've got one Falschenjäger, one Jäger, one Stoss, one Panzer Pi two Panzer Pioneers, and a Verbal Vind. And then we've still got three rifles, so that's pretty decent. He's up against Stoss Troop in here. He needs to get the grenade off. He needs to time it to hit that, in my opinion. Back down here in the center. Oh, he can't lose that rifle! Grenades tossed. Oh, Stoss Troop and win there. They could actually get the wipe. We have to keep an eye on that. That could be devastating. Somehow survives. Meanwhile, in the center, Easy 8's getting Larry. Verbalvin goes down. Sorry for missing that on camera. Verbalvin goes down. I thought the Vet 3 rifle was too important to miss if that were to die. And in the meantime, we didn't see the Verbal die. Panzer 4's getting low against the Easy 8's. <gasps> Death of an Easy 8. He can't afford that to die. But if he caps this, it could be worth it. M1 pushing forward. He's got to pull the manpower now, but he's reinforcing these rifles. So he won't be able to get another easy 8 for a long time. Meanwhile, with two Panzer IVs to the good, how many AT guns do we have? We've got two. He's going south to see what's there to clear the way. He's capped the victory point, all importantly, putting the pressure back on UMB. So it's 76 to 42. That's UMB to Simbi. Panzer IVs push in. M1 caught off guard and annihilating it. That's unfortunate. Meanwhile, too much is going south, IMO. Vet 3 rifles. Oh, he needs to keep that alive. There's a minor clutch mine, but it's not going to matter. He's not going to go that far forward. And we're now down to two rifles versus all that Wehrmacht infantry. Don't forget the Falsham pioneers as well that are going to help. But here comes... Oh, another JU. He has to evacuate the center in full. Easy 8's going to back away. He's going to cap the southern victory point, though. That's pretty important. Meanwhile, Panzerford down on its health. Vet 3 M1 needs to stay alive. Falsham Jaegers with those FG42s. There's a crucial mine. Can't save the day, however. Can he cap with the rifles down here? Does he have enough manpower coming in for a, a rescue easy 8? Possibly not. He's at 308 right now. His upkeep's low, however. <laughs> Victory point wise, he's, he's 42 is Simbi versus 56 now. AT gun destroyed. That was a Vet 3 AT gun. He's basically got nothing right now. All he's got is pride having played bloody well. He stays behind the husk of an M8. A heavy cover giving M8. Meanwhile, we've got these Stoss Troopen going north. And then third Panzer IV coming. It's a game one win for UMB. There's no way back from this, in my opinion, with this little time remaining. I mean, he will get a second easy 8 and he's seen the last of the, the JUs now. There won't be another JU strike this game. Unless we're going to go to a one victory point situation. But for both players, somehow, some crazy how. So I, I don't think we're going to see planes again. 
but we have got a hell of a lot of Wehrmacht ordnance. We've got 78 pop cap with a Panzer IV to be built. So we're looking at like 90 pop cap total, maybe 92. Uh, so that's going to be brutal. Let's just keep an eye on that pop cap. 91 it was versus 37. There's no way back, basically. Sadly for Simbi, no, the game is over. We've got a rifle flanking in vain, most likely. And Easy 8's about to hit. He needs to keep this victory point so desperately. And there he is. He sees the Panzer IV. He's putting pressure here. That's important. Everything is going to go north. He's going to neutralize there and keep the pressure off himself. That's pretty vital. Now he needs to retreat quickly. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Panzer IVs are repositioning, though, so they may not get the kill here. And here comes the second Easy 8. Is there a possibility for Simbi? He's up to 53 pop cap now versus now 91. It has to, every shot needs to penetrate. Every shot needs to be sent by the gods in order for this to work. Look at what he's up against. It's not going to happen, but what a game it's been. Orange Pest in chat says, not, ever, um, not over IMO, UMB is tunnel visioning. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see a world where somehow Simbi can win, but I just don't see it happening. He's at 23 victory points. He's going all in right now. Jaeger's in cloak mode. And we've got the M1 ricocheting. He's going in against the Panzer Force. He's going to lose his easy eights. And that's game. That's game. He's gallantly going in. He bounces a shot off the Schertzen. But he's pushing the victory points all the while. He's got the Vet 3 MG. He Meanwhile, easy eights down. It's out. He fought bravely, gallantly. And very well indeed. The old, old legend. But UMB with an iron fist. Was he able to get another Stuka loiter? You're joking me. I thought that was the end of them. I thought wrong. Well, very, very good game. Good game, good game. Kill to death ratio is uh, not on Symbiosis' side. Can we all cut back to the start of the game where I said that Symbiosis wrote the book on manpower preservation? Can we all just remember AE saying that? Can you remember AE saying that? <laughs> I thought that was a really good game, though. I thought that, um, they, they, you know, they played. I think the surprise factor went to Symbi's favour and they didn't quite have the, the endurance. Um, and UMB made too many correct decisions and Simbi made too many incorrect decisions. But uh, yeah, I agree with chat, although Streamlabs won't allow me to show chat right now for some reason. I agree with chat. Let me just get chat on screen. That Hellcat would have been a great, great call. I, I think that uh, Hellcat's pretty much meta, in all honesty. Maybe two Hellcats, Bulldozer. Something like that is probably be meta. I just don't think the Easy 8s are worth the manpower anymore, considering how good Hellcats can be. But these are meant to be uh, micro gods, micro god players, so. Anyway, let's get the second replay on the go, guys. What do you think, shall we? Shall we do it? I think we shall. Hopefully you enjoyed that game, though. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let's get game two on the go. Right, reverse positions. To be honest, I'm a little bit tired after that first one. Let me just take a tiniest of breathers. But you guys have to remember how, like, in order to get the easy eight, you've got to stall, basically. You've got to wait um, a long while to get that manpower. So, and the, the CPs as well. It takes a while. You have to stall for CPs. You have to stall for manpower. It's just better to keep up the tempo. USF is all about tempo. you just got to keep it up. And if you don't, you're screwing yourself. That's why I think Easy 8s are no longer meta. Oh, my neck. Uh, 
the Diversity Cup song. Oh, man. That was with my uh, ex from about four years ago. As lockdown got you feeling blue, there's nothing else left to do. Then play go... T then there's nothing else... Then it's time to play Co2. It's the Corona Cup. I remember that one. That was good. How did the Diversity Cup one go? By the way, I can say whatever it is I'm involved in from the 2nd and 3rd of March and the 9th and 10th of March, which you need to book your calendars for, um, it's going to have a song. I will just announce that now. I already know what the song is. I need to record it, and it's going to be my best ever tawny song. So if you've missed the AE tawny jingles from the Master League era, it's got a song. Yeah, cow's axing. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Thanks, Kowzak. I'm glad you're hyped. The diverse... How did the... Um... Was there a Diversity Cup song? I don't remember that. Hello and welcome to Diversity Cup semi mean that they... A little bit more variety... Oh my god, there was! The fuck? I don't remember this. Welcome to Diversity Cup semi finals day. This is so cringe. Hello, hello YouTube, hello Twitch. And uh, yeah, we're here to uh, change you for the tournament. Yeah, it's, we have, we've got Alpern. Test, and I'm not going to talk much longer. Let's get it on. Grab your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit. It's the diversity <laughs> God, I'm funny. <laughs> you guys are spoiled having me as the uh, de facto community leader. Thanks to Dirty Finish, Dirty Finisher for giving me that moniker. Like, I'm a genius. That's so funny. I didn't even remember I did this. Scream! Listen! Listen, you can hear them scream after I say cop. Listen. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a fucking genius, man. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't even know I did this. <laughs> light of like the plight of soldiers in world war Two. i'm pretty sure that's horrific sorry <laughs> oh god sorry i thought that was really funny i don't know if you guys thought that's funny <laughs> oh. anyway let's get game two yeah, just a little bit of making fun of death. Exactly, Citrix. <laughs> something when something tickles you, sometimes you just you, you laugh, and people might not find it as funny as you. Sadly. <laughs> uh, I am a bit nuts, so yeah, definitely. Right, we've got the replay looted. Sorry, Myron Bro, maybe your tournament, but you're a player that's being casted. So you can't watch. <laughs> no, I can't ban him because that means he can't watch, sorry. Uh how do I do that? I forgot that ban these days means um that people can't watch, sadly. It used to be that they can't talk, but now it means they can't watch, which is annoying. <sighs> But yeah, if you're a player that's being cast, never talk on my streams because it's uh, you're meant to be playing super serious. Okay, super serious. Right then. Oh, 
really? I didn't know that cow's like, okay. There's still functionality. Fair enough. It's really annoying because I used to like the ability during tournaments to mute certain people, like, from chatting if they were playing and stuff. But now it means that they can't watch, which is really sad. So Twitch kind of removed that functionality, unfortunately. Anyway, let's cast game two, shall we? Oh, yeah, true, Kazak. Yeah, I could do that. Right then. Three, two, one. Hello there, and welcome to game two of this best of three. You're looking at Symbiosis, who went down very gallantly in um, game one. Tried his best, but unfortunately made one too many mistakes, uh, misjudgments of kind of like squad positioning and stuff, and UMB was just too solid. UMB, on the other hand, had a cracking game. It's his time to abuse Armoured Battle Group. He has actually gone for Engineers first, which is curious. I wonder if he, like me, has um, th theorised that possibly one Jeep is optimal for tournament level play. I know that Orange Pest is all also uh, tinkering with the idea. But yeah, one Jeep may be optimal, and Engineer is always a good choice, so why not? Gives you mining, gives you mine sweeping, gives you repairing... We'll see, though. Maybe just goes for another Jeep after all. <laughs> Jeep just going Womper at the moment. MG sets up somewhere it can reinforce, of course. Well, that was a weird setup there by the Simbi. Not too sure about that one. He is going for a second jeep, so that completely negates everything I was saying. Big shout out to Imperial Dane in chat. Always good to have you. You name it, we'll capture it. German infantry. Mine could not be completed by Symbiosis Pioneers there. Oh, Jeep got a little bit low to the Grenadiers. We've got no doctrinal pick yet from Simbi. No rifles yet from UMB. But look at the map capping. Look at the pressure. He's all over the bloody place at the moment. Gonna reinforce and then re-emerge as a Jeep duo. Looky, looky, stars. Get those sandbags down and keep the pressure up. One of our strategic points is under attack. We have riflemen taking the field. Rifles finally emerge. Meanwhile, we've gone for two MGs from Symbiosis. The pioneers contesting the north. The Grenadiers. Of course, they don't have their Faust quite yet, but they do have Car 98Ks. Get those Mauser bullets firmly planted into the Dodge chassis. MG facing east there. And another one pushing in. It's only two man. It might need a merge soon. Victory points back in Simbi hands. Surely going to de yep, decap that then. Get behind cover. Just keep the MP40s on them. Well, there's only two left. You may as well retreat now. Oh, that's some good DPS on the Jeeps. Keeping the pressure on those dastardly devils. And Simbi's reclaiming the map now. He is leaving his nether regions exposed to uh, pressure from the scout unit, however. Scouts capping there. Rifles 
pushing into the center from UMB's direction. Engineers forced off. And an MG and Pioneer pairing in the south. Looks like we've got Luftwaffe company coming down, I just heard, in base. That's a Wehrmacht mine there. Simbi always with the mines, as you'd expect from a Co-1 enthusiast. Jeep prepared and going north. Get some capping done up there. Same choices every game from the USF player. Probably going to go field repairs next. Of course, get Seek and Destroy, and then War Machine, and then Easy 8. It's kind of tail all time. We never see the recovery vehicle, and we rarely see the Scott. The well, Scott is pretty decent. So that's good utility, at least. Oh, mine hits the Scouts. Unfortunate for him, it didn't hit the Jeep. Captain out. Jeep versus Pioneers down here. Oh, Pioneer's suffering a lot of pressure there. MG getting flanked, forced off, surely. No, he's, he thought about repositioning for a moment. Yep, UMB's pressure and micro beginning to exert itself. Now we're going to get a pack. Sorry, we're going to get a... Flak, and then a, a Jaeger. Two centimeter Flak 30 on the field. One of the more interesting units the Vermat can field. Unless it's being used against you, and then it's bullshit, of course. Interesting option, though, when you're staring down the barrel of motor pool and the Greyhound. I mean, it can technically work against the ground, but you're going to need that Jaeger. You're going to need that Shrek ASAP, and he's got it upgrading now, so he'll be fine. Captain continuing to fire from behind heavy cover there. Doing his dawn is meaning while Jeep versus Pioneer up here. Finally forcing the captain off. We've got MG versus uh, <laughs> Greyhound there. We know who wins that battle. And we've got a second. Sorry, we've got the 2-2-1. Two, two, He's going for the Panzerbusker. He's going for the Panzerbusker as a counter to the ground. That is brave. Too brave, in my opinion. Needs 50 munitions. And he's quite far off, so... Don't like his chances there. It's just going to counter the Jeep for now. Can he get the kill? Let's see. Jeep didn't get very good uh, reversing path off there. So it looks very likely. Surely the 2-2-1 can get the kill. I think it... Whoa, there's two Greyhounds though. What was he thinking? That's just bad play by Simbi, sadly. That was just bad play. He should have stopped around here, really, knowing there's greyhounds around. Got greedy. Just annoyed by the jeeps, but he used jeeps himself in game one. So he could have done without throwing that fuel. Let's be completely honest. He's going for another flak. He's going for another flak. Oh, no. I'm not sure about that choice. To be honest... If UMB just keeps spamming Greyhounds now, he'll win this. It, it, easily. If he just gets another Greyhound, he could probably swarm and, and win. Right then. Greyhounds poised and ready to strike. MG 
firing greyhounds poised grenadiers re-emerge he's got this other flak pushing up oh we actually got some good damage off there with the shrek forcing the greyhounds off well the vp tick is going against him i uh, can confirm the victory points all oh, the right way around this game and look at those nasty nasty jeeps going north putting loads of pressure down merges into the mg to simbi All right, he's going bars next as UMB. Just the pressure he's going to exert now is going to be really difficult for him to battle against. I'm sure he's going to get munitions surplus as well. And yeah, that's going to be game, I'm sad to say. I can't see that Simbi's build will rescue him. Unless I know something I don't understand there, Matt. It's possible. Certainly can't play them very well. But I do know that this isn't what I see the highest level players usually doing. Right then, the Greyhound Gruesome Twosome going south. Is it optimal to only have two rifles and go balls? Possibly not, but maybe you'll go for a third rifle soon after. Symbiosis, let's check to see. He hasn't gotten support elements yet, so no sign of a marder. Nice Shrek hit there on the ground. It's a, it's a rather passive game at the moment. I just feel like uh, Yamarin Brawl lost a bit of tempo. And the victory points have stagnated as a result. Alright, there we go. We're going to go support elements now. Mortar for the American. Well, the Frenchman playing against the Americans. Flax now beginning to take effect. Oh, there's a lot in the way of the Flax there. The Grand should probably go this away, but the Shreks are going to be ready for them if they do that. Mm, keeping them away. Nicey, nicey. Also pushing with the Grenadiers in the north, with the Pioneers. Sorry, Grenadiers in the south, the Pioneers in the north. Getting some good capping done there. Mortar's going to start being annoying for these flax, though. When it's finished finding its perfect position. Jeeps are kind of just chilling for now. They do find the MG, though. And that's going to be annoying for Simbi. I just feel like your Marion Bros build order. Oh, he's going two mortars. You're joking me. Wowzer. All right, we're getting bar upgrades as well. So your Marion Bros does have a lot of munitions in the bag. He didn't go for field repairs, though. He just wanted quicker war machine. So it's one CP versus two. Interesting. They just have the engineer, so he can repair manually. But uh, it's always nice to get an auto repair off, in my opinion. But then, maybe I'm wrong. Any top-level players in chat? Do you like to go the M21 just because it's M31, rather? Or do you go for field repairs? You, lots of players in chat saying that they prefer symbiosis his uh, position in the oh jeep hit by the shreks there they prefer symbiosis position oh but the flak just went down to greyhound fire maybe they don't prefer it anymore where were the jaegers at they're not in position they're currently chasing down jeeps we do have a mine detonate there but there's a flak going down did he kill a jeep was it worth it that jeep to lose a flak possibly not 
needs these Jaegers in positions at all times. And he's going for a verbal vent. I don't know if why if I click that it goes to the Jeep, by the way. That is a bit of strange coding, isn't it? Have you seen that? Oh well. Now these double mortars are beginning to weaken him up. Oh, he's low health! He's low health! Ow! Just about got out of there before the Casbar crumbled. Jaegers push forth. Ooh, nice shot from the ground. Grenade was easy to dodge, though, for the Jaegers. And I tell you what, the rifles are in a spot of bother here. They're getting focus fired. They're being focus fired. Luckily, they survive for them, though. Jaegers, however, they don't survive. Oh, they do. They do. They do. There's two squads. There's two squads. The overlap of the uh, unit icon scared me for a moment. Just for a moment. Simbi fan checking in. Sorry for the bias cast. Um, let's check out Mechanized. It looks he's looks like he's going for Panther. Eight CPs for Panther. He's currently three and a half away. Um, a lot of fuel away as well. So he's going to have to rely solely, solely on the double Shrek. Ooh, Flak needs to do a lot of work, needs to target the right rifles at the right time, but the Greyhounds are there. And this was my worry with Greyhounds against Flak 30s. They do tend to get absolutely F. And this is what's happened in this case. Can the scouts claim it, perhaps? No, he's just going to destroy it. Jaegers, as soon as the Jaegers are out of position, you admire Bros all over him. And he's lost both Flaks now. And I'm not sure it was worth it. If you think about the cost of a... Flak 30, it's 280 manpower, so he's lost 560. The enemy has taken our Ow. Pioneers go north. Ground surely gonna react to that. If he'd gone for the um, field repairs, he would have been able to repair these really quickly and keep up tempo. That's why I think it's better um, to go field repairs. Just my opinion. He does have enough fuel, by the way, to go tank depot, and he's not doing so, so maybe he's going to stall for the EZ-8, which does seem a bit excessive, given how much of an advantage he's had so far. Mine detonates a one model there. That poor guy went the wrong way. Unfortunate. Okay, going south with a Grenadier. The one coming to answer right now. Whose army do you like better, chat? We're going for two verbal fins. Oh my god. What is he thinking? Mind the Panthers aren't... M most, the Panthers aren't much, I think, relative to... Mortars pushing these MGs back. Rapid firing. There's barrages. Oh my. I mean, a Marder. People in chat are saying about Marders. I have to agree. I mean, it just doesn't feel like his AT is quite good enough. As soon as the Jaegers aren't on the field, he gets rolled, basically. Ooh, mine does some damage to his Jaegers there. We do have a triple cap now for Simbi, meaning that the victory points will level, even up. We've got an AT gun building for Yamai and Brock, going for a double AT combo. Definitely the easy 8 stall is on for him. Grenadier's going south. What a good series this has been. Very good first round series. Indicative of uh, possibly interesting seeding, we'll call it. His own mine there. Needs to not get hit by ground. But there's smoke in the way, so he should be fine. MG Vet 2 doesn't want to lose that. But again, just doesn't have the AT options. Bad build order by Simbi. Very bad build order. I would say that... Um, Yamaira and Ra's build order has not been optimal, but it's definitely not been bad. It's been meta. It's been reasonable. Some of the timings have been a little bit iffy. But again, as soon as the Jaegers are off the field, what can he do? He's screwed. Ooh, he might lose that MG42 to the M1 if he's not careful. Jaegers pushed in. So does the verbal. M1 misses yet again. 
Oh, he's losing. He's losing the verbal now. Cannot afford to do that. And does so. Maybe to an M8 there. I'm not too sure. I think that's the series in UMB's favour, in all honesty. I think Simbi showed that he could train and possibly get good enough in time for the upcoming tournaments in the future. Um, it was definitely nice to see him in a tournament series again. So big shout out to the Symbiosis um, legend that is. But uh, yeah, no, unfortunately, definitely one he can do his homework on and learn from. Uh, Simbi down to 46 pop cap, UMB up to 71. His stall for easy eights is, is three and a bit off now. Greyhound overextended. Finally, the Shrek's killed something. People in chat are head scratching. Why didn't UMB take the MG? Uh, I don't know. Probably should have done. He does have this um, in base over there. Maybe thought he's already got one. Why need another? The grenade tosses have been a bit strange. I think it's not just Co3 delay, that's something extra. Everything. All of um, Simbi's army is on screen here. And then he has one thing here. This MG. And the grounds could literally mop that up in an instant if they so desired. We are losing the lead. What the F? Is he thinking? Did he really just go Panzer Grenadier Company, go for a pack 40 and an Ebelwerfer? This isn't Co 1, bro. <laughs> this would make sense in Co 1. Kauzak says he likes it. Orange Pest says pro plays. I just think, like, Daniel D says it's legit. A is a new. This is what Co 1 pros would do in Co 1. So I'm just thinking, like, this isn't Co One, but everyone says it's basically Co One, the 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 remake. Apparently, okay, fair enough. People say it's legit. I'm all for it. We're going for the mortars first. Oh, we did get a Shrek shot in on the Greyhound, by the way. M8s in a bit of jeopardy. Going north of the Grenadiers there. Going in with the verbal. I think we're getting some fanboyism in chat, by the way. <laughs> I'm a Simbi fanboy as well, but you have to try and stay kind of um, unbiased in how you're calling the game. And once hit the verbal. Where's that coming from? It's coming from behind. Jaeger's coming to push them. We've got an MG flip here. Where are the pioneers? Come on, guys. Get in there. Lads. Verbal has been built. No, Daniel, I think you're biased because people were saying that Simbi was winning in the last game when he clearly wasn't. <laughs> That's why I think chat's biased. Not just because the Nurble and the AT gun was a bit of a head-scratcher by most um, game standards. You rarely see a Panzer Company uh, back tech, do you? Not saying it's bad, you just rarely see it. Maybe this is going to be the future. Certainly seems to have stabilised the front for now, doesn't it? It's meant that the uh, mortars are guessing. They're back in base. They're thinking, huh? We actually have to think now? Verbal Vind all the way back here, waiting for some repairs. Maybe the pioneers could help, perhaps? He does have the option of um, mechanized assaults. He does have the panther unlocked now. So he could actually go mechanize assault. He has 242 munitions. And auto repair the verbal vend if he wanted. Nebelwerfer, where's its target? Ooh, finding the MG coming out of base. Forcing it back, and that's the pressure. The Nebel's applying. Good work by the Nebel. Grenade. Easy dodges all day long for those grenades. Another Nebel! Chat, are you going to say this second Nebel's a good idea? Like, is Simbi just a, 
a genius and I'm a moron. Right, finally you agree with me. Okay, finally Twitch chat agrees. Just so we're clear, I've got Twitch chat here and we've got many things happening on screen. I should probably keep an eye on. Sorry, terrible casting moments as the Greyhound pushes in. Do we have any AT that can take this out? We've got the Pat 40 reversing around. Trying to get a shot in. He may get it now. There was a mine there. He's glad he didn't hit that. Bloody hell, that, 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 was a, that was a big surprise. I didn't expect that quite at that moment. There's another mine, by the way. Bloody hell. My heart was in my mouth thinking I was about to miss an amazing moment there for a second. <laughs> right, no one expects the second Nebel. Verbal versus Scouts. <laughs> and here comes the second Nebel. Oh, these mortars. They're not having a good time anymore, are they? Ooh. Oh, Pac's been decrewed. Needs to recruit ASAP. How are those two? Oh, the rifles are under pressure as well. He's Nebeling everything. The rifles see it late. Could they be wiped here? They could be wiped. Grens need to get the shots in. One shot remaining. Couldn't get it off. Meanwhile, we've got an 18 aid and double AT guns ready to force off the verbal. Oh. Jaegers push up. They're going to get grenaded. And there it is. The easy eights on the field. They do get Shrek. That was a bad arrival for the Easy Eight. A very bad arrival. Another grin. No. It's just a leaf. <laughs> wow. Who would have known that Symbiosis was going to stabilize this game utilizing Nibelwerfers? Incredible stuff. Just co one things. Co one players doing co one things in allegedly a different game. How far are we off Panther? Not too far of fuel. But um, look at this. He's actually overshooting this time. But the weapons are being careful. It means he has to retreat through Hellfire and Brimstone. As a result. Oh, oh there we go. That's a good one this time. Oh, oh, oh that could be damaging. Nuclear Nebel! Nuclear Nebel! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oppenheimer sent that one. He's upgrading the Panzer Grenadier Company! <laughs> Why not go Panther? <laughs> Why? Upgrade! That must be a misclick. He surely needs to go Panther right now. This is going to what? Give him faster Nebel vets? <laughs> what is he doing? Symbiosis, if you if you don't know who Symbiosis is, he's a top 10 tournament player of all time. He's literally the 10th ranked tournament player of all time. But he doesn't play Co3. He's only just come into it like the last month or so. And it shows some of his decision making is wacky. Really bizarre. Oh, easy eight greyhound combo goes in. And where's his AT? Well, he's got Vet on his Nebels. It doesn't matter that he didn't get his Panther out, guys. He got Vet on his Nebels. UMB coming in now for the kill. It doesn't matter. Oh, Nebel down. At least he's got one Vetted. Ah, higher Vet climbing Nebel, by the way. It's only the first star of veterancy it covers. Oh, man. The, this is an episode of Noob Olympics now. Right, where's Steiner's Nebel? Don't worry, Steiner's Nebel will save us. Just gestures wildly at the map. There's, there's a recruit, Nebel. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> this one. This will be the one. 
This this will be a squad. I don't even need to look at all this stuff in North dying. He kind of had a shot here if he didn't upgrade Panzer Grenadier. I mean, if we're being honest, it only costs 125 munitions, 25 fuel, but he really needed everything he could get towards the Panther. And he screwed up hugely, as uh, Donald Trump would say in this situation. Um, Orange Pest says, is he a 2v2 player? No, Symbiosis was both a 1v1 and a 2v2 player. He did win mostly 2v2 tournaments with his partner Jeep back in the day, but he was also successful in the 1v1 arena. DevM says Simbi was never a true contender on the likes of Siberian Platoon and or Aimstrong, having spoken to DevM at length, but he was a decent player. DevM like, claims he was always in for a decent game, but he never really feared him. Basically, that's his level. Uh, as a, it's a 1v1 player, but as a fan from back in the day, it was very exciting to watch. Mm. Triple cap now. Ooh, he did steal a mortar, by the way. So he has that. Please tell me he stole this mortar. Yes, he did. Thank God for that. If that said Granat Verf... For 34, I was about to just turn the game off. <laughs> um, ouch, MG42 down. Just deleting propaganda from chat there. Don't listen to anything that goes counter to my narrative, please, chat. Hey, he is, is omniscient and never wrong. I'm infallible and omniscient. And also omnipotent. Enemy down to 100 points. Repeat, and Yamiron Bra has gotten through round one of his tournament. But it bloody... It was tough going, wasn't it? Really tough going. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. He's got the Panther, everybody. He's got two Verbal Vins. He's got his Jaegers. And he's mostly got a Nebel with superior Vet Climb. If this mine can go off, he's got a chance. Come on, Panther. Save us. There's a good side hit. There's a good Nebel Verf for Barrage. Oh, he's overshooting. He's got two AT guns set up here. Oh, dear. This doesn't bode well. Oh, two penetrations there. Easy 8's about to battle back in. Jaeger's watching on board. Rifle's pushing in. Ooh, that's some good shooting from the Jaegers at least. Easy 8, 40% health. And forced away. Yeah, he could use zeroing artillery barrage as well. Just um, playing. Oh, there you go. He's just used it. Finally. Finally. Red smoke. You don't want to eat that. Where is it? Come on, zeroing. Save us. Oh, your you Myron Bros. Just too fast. Just too good. He can't be one clicked. He comes from Go 2. It's impossible. He invented the one click. Oh, Jaeger's about to die. Somehow, Jaeger survived. Just like Palpatine. 35 VPs ticking down. Central victory points a long way off at this point. That might as well be 20 miles. Nibble! <laughs> oh, no. Not the Nibbles. Not our precious Nibbles. GG's by UMB. He had a very f difficult first round opponents. Very tricky um, underdog, let's call him. And yeah, he came through with really tidy play by UMB all in all. Very tidy play. He he's got some work to do on his timing and possibly s to perfect his build order. But um, yeah, GG all in all.
Pioneer's just died, by the way. There's 86 pop cap for UMB. And he's not even using his full army at the moment. He knows it's over. He's just chilling, probably checking his DMs, annihilating Pioneers. Having fun. Strider in chat says it's not over. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I doubt it, though. GG's been called by Symbiosis. There we go. What a series. Well played. Really well played by Simbi. There has been some propaganda in chat suggesting, by the way, that Symbiosis has played 800 games of Co3. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Bloody hell, that happened quickly. Must be mostly 2v2, though, eh? Let's check out his player card, shall we? Sim by Osis. Maybe I'm just wrong. It's possible. He's not this Symbiosis. Level 1000. Rank 1500. He's... A-S-I-I. -I. Oh, thanks, Azilligath. I got it. I spelt it right, though. Thank you, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he has played Co3, let's say. Not that much, though. Um, but, yeah, enough to know some of the stuff that he knew, anyway. That was a bloody good series. Yeah, but GG to UMB. Big shout out to him and um, Canamix. Um, yeah, it was a good series, to be honest. I, yeah, I just, uh, I really enjoyed that. It was good. Good stuff. Yeah, Yumarin Bra is is confirmed. He doesn't know symbio who Symbiosis was. Um, so where will he be playing next then? Let's figure that out. Sorry, I haven't put the brackets in the thing yet. But um, oh, we have had some other games come in. By the way, we've had one other game come in. Wow. Do you want the spoilers? Somebody called Ares beat Markov. Wow. I don't I don't know who Ares is, but I know who Markov is, and Markov's not too bad. Interesting. Yeah, let's try and get these uh brackets up, I think. Oh man. I know I have a version of the bracket somewhere. Hang on. I don't know where the official one is anymore, but there's this one. There's this one. So, let's have a little look at the bracket, shall we? So, that would mean... We've got Yamaya and Bra beat Symbiosis. He's now up against the winner of Dexon and Noob Nath. Tough bracket for those guys. And they are going to be up against the winners of... Havoc and Theodosios in round one. Wow. Holy. Raw 11 and Kauzak, by the way. I'm all over that. I'd love to see that. Ferragy Charlotte's a pretty big game. Wow. What else have we got? Meanwhile, in this bracket, it's like Orange Pest. Pax isn't going to play. He's not going to wake up in time to play, let's face it. Orange Pest has got probably Hulk Smash or... Well, Hulk Smash, isn't it? Hulk Smash should beat whoever the whoever Ares is. is. Um, that's an easy bracket. Easy bracket. 
So my seeds would be... Uh, hang on. Let's do my seeds. I've got my number two seed here. I've got my number one seed there. I've got my number three seed there. And I'm probably going to say... I'll just say Alpern most likely just because he's got tournament pedigree um, although he's not been enjoying the game much recently so yeah broadly speaking we do have the correct seeds on the correct side two and three uh, two and three will play four and one just goes all the way through to the final basically so there's the semi there's no semi for the lower half, just for the top half. So it's not that bad in terms of, like... It's not seeded properly, but it, it's not worked out that badly for the top four, at least. It kind of makes some sense. I'd say, just because of automatic ranks, Havoc, probably. No Zulu, so I'll say Havoc. Um, and then... Charlotte's been practicing a lot. Maybe Charlotte, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't mind saying Charlotte. I, don't, I know she's been practicing a lot and she's like, I don't know, got Rush play style or something. I know Hulk Smash. Hulk Smash. Hulk Smash is next, definitely. And then I'm going to say Charlotte. I can't see anybody that should be seeded higher. And then... Because I know how good he... Oh, Dexen, sorry. He plays a lot. Yeah, let's go with Dexen next. Uh, I'm going to say Raw 11 based on like tournament pedigree and stuff. Uh, and the fact that he's performed really well in 2v2 show matches and such. Seems like he's really got his head screwed on. And then for a 10th seed... Uh, I don't know. Oh, Theodosios! I forgot to see Theo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so get Charlotte off. Get Hulk Smash off. Theo goes next, obviously. So it's 5v6. Fucking hell, that's quick, isn't it? Then it's... Yeah, seven. Yeah, then seven. Then eight. Then nine. And then... Oh, no, we've got two nines now. So, Raw 11 or Charlotte? We'll probably go Raw 11 as 10. So, there's your top 10 seeds. IMO. Um, just seeing if there's anything. And then I'll give you my Raw 11, I guess. Um, who'd win out of your Marin Braw and Pax? Probably Pax, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really seed much higher than that. But there's your top 10, I think. If anybody disagrees with that. I don't know. So we've got basically on Orange Pest side, he's up against seed eight. And then he's through to the final. <laughs> uh, oh, Azilagath over Raw 11. That's possible. Yeah, we could just call that. I don't know. Whatever. I know he doesn't. I don't know how he is in 1v1, so I could say that. That's fine. Um. Maybe Pax will pull off a miracle. Where did I see Pax, actually? Yeah, let's... Because Raw 11, we don't know how he is in 1v1. We can't really seed him too highly. Let's put Pax above him, just... Like... But to go through to the final, only having probably faced 8 or 11, is a bit strange. Let's say. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Um, so, like, he, he faces... Pax and Hulk smash. And then let's have a look at the other brackets. So to get to the semi-final, because there's one semi-final in all this. Um to get to the semi-final, you've got Havoc, Theodosios, Alpern, and Dexen. To be honest, um I actually like Theo over Alpern. I'm just giving Alpern four seed based on how he played in the summer of last year. Um, I do think he he's not in the right place psychologically. Oh, Ruby's a good shout. Ruby could be seeded uh, reasonably high as well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. 
something around there. I haven't really seen Ruby play recently. Um, so yeah, you've got like... And we'll give like, you might have 14. Uh, Lady Ritsu, 15. Might as well finish it now, mightn't we? 16. Don't know. Markov, by the way, is lost, so... And then 17 for probability. Okay. There we go. We won't see the people that we think are going to lose round one. Um, so, in order to get through to the this one here, the lower side of this, you've got Havoc, Theo, Elper, Dexen, Yamira, and Bra. So, Dexen, obviously, is going to go through. So, let's just, like, grey this out now. Because he should win that, right? So, Dexen, he's going to go through. Um, Sloth Alpern obviously goes to there. Now, Havoc and Theo uh, is a really close game. It's super close. Flip a coin. I think Theo will win. Um, I just think Havoc possibly hasn't got... Yeah, he's, he's good enough to beat Noob, Nath, and Yamira and Bra, I think. Yeah. Um, Yamira and Bra is a decent player, don't get me wrong, but he's like, he's not, he's, you know, he, he's he's just decent. And I think Dex ends decent, but I think he's got a little bit more practice. That's all it is. I think Theo's going to be Alpern. Um, no offense to Alpern, I just think Theo's got more practice and he's in a better state psychologically. And then, of course, Theo will beat Dexon. Um, because he will. So I think either Theo or Alpern goes to there, basically. And I'm just going to say, like, you know, it's like 2 1. It's a close one, basically. And that's like a 2 0. Um,. This bracket, obviously, Faragy is just goes straight through. Um, but down here, Kauzak will go straight through. So you've got a that could be a that was a Master League final, I think. So that's really strong quarter final there. Uh, Faragy should beat Kauzak, but it will be close. I do rate Kauzak because he's got like a bit of a aggressive style that can be quite chaotic. Um, I do rate him. I consider him in the top four worldwide, to be honest. Top five, maybe. Um, so, Faragy, Theodosios, and of course, Orange Pest just goes straight through to the final. Because he has no semi final, so of course he's already in the final. And there's no one that can contend against him, really. Everything will be 2 0 until Orange Pest gets to the final. And then. You've got um, Theragy, or well, Theragy should make it, shouldn't he? Obviously, It'd be like two one there, and then it'll be Orange Pest Theragy. Now, I'm meant to be having an Orange Pest Theragy uh, show match soon as well, so <laughs> they can have a lot of practice against each other. Might just, I don't know. We'll see if we get to that before we get to the other thing. Maybe we'll just, I don't know, put some money into this tournament or something. But we're going to want to see like the tournament go smoothly in order to get there. Wait, there's this as well, sorry. There's a loser's bracket. I forgot about that. Uh, I don't know. He beats Faragy. Faragy goes down here. Faragy beats whoever he played before, probably. I don't know, like Theo or something. That Faragy comes back up. And then Orange Plus pays him again. Ooh, Orange Plus plays him again. There we go. <laughs> Win a goat. <laughs> and then Orange Pest will win. Because lol, Orange Pest wins. And that's how it's going to work. IMO. Colour this back in so it's not so disrespectful to the players. Um, there you go. That's my opinion at least. Right then, how much uh, have we got up to on this video? Oh bloody hell, it's actually quite long. Let's um, stop it in 20 seconds. Thanks so much for watching guys. Sorry that uh, some of the casting was a bit spurious at times. It's been a bit of a long day.
we're going to raid Skippy FX now. Cheers, guys. 